The deed is done. We're at the scene of a murder most foul. But who committed the crime? It is I! Peter, playing Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Arm. Deed haunts edition. Yes, we have uh, committed the murder of a slimy nobleman. And I've planted evidence that will point to the Shadow Thieves. Kind of obvious evidence, but uh, On my way. oh well. Should be enough for the Omnian uh, law enforcement. I don't think they're the most... Uh... In the name of the council, I am here to keep order. Oh. Hold! You there! I told you about banging in the government... What did I told you about the banging in the government district? I am sorry, sir. I truly am. But all the people with spare coins are here. Irrelevant. This is a decent part of town and I'll not have filth like you littering about. I warned you the last time and this was your last chance. Tell me, sir. This man was begging from you, correct? I can answer that, guardsman. The river approached us to ask directions, nothing else. But I have a question. There was a helpless woman, mobbed and nearly burned at the stake near here not long ago. Where were you then? Tirelessly hunting beggars, I suppose? I um, hadn't heard of that. <laughs> but uh, as for the beggar, well, I suppose well, there's no reason for you, a drow, to, pr to protect him. Go on your way, old man, and don't uh, let me catch you again. Thank you! Thank you! You saved me! My deepest appreciation! Well, Vicolia, you're doing a good deed. That's weird. Out of her own free will, or possibly just to spite the law, I guess. I guess the latter. Knowing Vicolia, yeah. the Argus mate. So, um, why are we entering the government uh, building district? Well, because we still have Neb's head. And Neb is a wanted criminal. Is there something that you need, citizen? Yes. I have the head of a child-killing gnome, Neb. I expect a bounty for my service of killing him. Let's see what they cut there. Yes, that's spite the condition of the head. It's obvious that the criminal we've been uh, seeking. You have no idea what a despicable creature this Neb was. Or perhaps you do. Regardless, we're thankful for your help. I hope this reward will be sufficient. And our reputation increases from bringing on such a heinous criminal. Yes, not from the murdering just next door. I understand that the Flaming Fist was looking for him as well. I'll send a note explaining your deed, and they can uh, stop looking now. Thank you again, citizen. You've done, uh, done well. Hooray! Reputation. Brown and face first in gutter water, bleeding from every orifice, don't you? Oh, don't, uh, don't worry, dear You Corgan. are doing nothing for my morale, you know. Wasteful behavior and leaving me like this. Do I have to do Don't worry, party. Work? We'll, uh... That reputation gain will be counted soon enough. Trust me. Right then, off to the, uh... We still have a... Ransom to collect from the crimes of other criminals. Fun. Yes, we're rounding up a bunch of side quests now, and probably oh, and committing to one of the bigger side quests again. As I know, I've been thinking this whole this section of the game is kind of side quest city, but uh, oh well, it's fun and leaves you with a lot of options in the world. You can always you can do these quests later on, but uh, I just like to do them in the middle of the game, so then when end game comes, you can kind of. Uh, Rush through it a bit, and you're powerful enough to handle everything. I'll heed no churlishness, peasant. Yeah, you are the one I am to meet. I know of no one else that would approach me. Show me the note if you are who you appear to be. Uh, yes, I am the kidnapper. Give me the gold, and you will be half your mistress. The gold? That was not part of the deal. You shall have the ransom agreed. Please, it is all we brought. There can be no more. I wish this over with quickly, so whatever it is that I have to do. And the lady? Here, yeah, I will point you to the direction. Now I'll you. Our deal's done then. May you rot in hell for what you've done. 
And our reputation goes down, because we're... Boom criminals. You have your money, excuse me. Uh, no, actually I don't, but uh, we'll get to that later. But you could have avoided the inevitable reputation of a kidnapper. Sometimes I think you act without due consideration. Ha! It is delicious irony. It's almost uh, worth, the, worth more than the gold. Once again, no gold. Collecting this ransom, I find it encouraging to see such backbone in you, Skizney. I find this a most satisfactory arrangement. Yes, and now our evil people are happy. But we didn't get money. What we got were silver pantaloons. A high-quality pair of silver pantaloons. This was a ransom paid by weather for the reach of Lady Elga. Yes, so uh, what are you supposed to do with silver pantaloons? Nothing. Basically, you can do nothing with them. So they're collecting this ransom. It's kind of pointless. However, we need to kill you all any time soon. Good to know, Corgan. However, as I was saying, there is actually something you can do with it. If in Baldur's Gate 1 you um, collected the, I believe it was the golden pantaloons or the bronze, and now you have the silver pantaloons. Now, in, further on in the expansion, you collect another set of pantaloons. Then you have three pantaloons, and you can give that to one obscure merchant, and he will give you a weird, awesome Easter egg armor that shoots laser beams. Yes. Sadly, I did not bring along the uh, bronze golden pantaloons from Baldur's Gate 1, so we can't unlock that easter egg, so once again, kind of pointless. Anyways, now off to the temple, because we have, um, okay, we have uh, this piece of uh, lithium ore thing uh, to give to, uh, yes, to give to the churches. Very well. Excuse me, what is wrong? I saw Charles proving difficult to, difficult to work with, to deal with. He has proven unreasonable. I did everything he asked. Then there's nothing left to it. What is done is done. Your commission, will, your commission work will... Uh, I'm trying to remember what voice, because this was not the voice I gave him earlier. Uh, your commission work will, 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 there. We will commission work from a local artist as soon as we can use, using this alloy. A pity, but what is this, Guardian? I heard you were commissioning a new work for the temple. Is this it? It was to be High Watcher, but no longer. And why not? It resembles the work of prison, works of prison, though of course it cannot be. It has an odd look to it, like the time between dark and dawn. I find it pleasing. It carries the sheen of a lithium, but it is smudged. Good. Helm's armor is unblemished, but the acolyte should not think it easy to attain without tireless work. Place it somewhere prominent, Guardian. It'll serve. I had worried you might extend our coffers on that overrated Sir Sars, but this pleases me. Fine work. As you would have it, High Watcher Oseek. Helm guided us through the mire of pretentious artists and nobles and granted us a humble tribute that is still worthy. You have gained this blessing. I have enjoyed being in his service. Now that you know to what you are owed. You served Helm with due care and have earned a portion of the artist's commission to cover the costs you paid. You should you have earned more than mere gold as well. Helm is practical and should have his payment be so as well. You shall have the Helm of Glory to further yourself. Report back to me when you are able. We have allies that require your service. As well, the Helm of Glory it gives charisma and plus one AC. This might be handy for us as party leader. I might give this to Skizney. Actually, I think I will give this to Skizney. Then this can go 
What does yes I have a Baldron, so we can keep that. Health charm protection. Oh, I think this will be better. Yeah, more AC and uh, we'll, we will keep the health charm protection around. There are enemies where that's uh, where that's very good. So, uh, well, yes, I guess art is very subjective because apparently a chunk of randomly formed ore pleased more than some grand art sculpture. Well, at least they're happy and we got paid. As if this is a fun resolution to the quest. And as I said, we still have the actual lithium. What can we do with it? Well, we will be going to that right quick. But first, let's just uh, ask what other tasks these temples have. I, it has been requested of uh, that we assist the Temple of Lathander in a dispute with uh, the worshippers of Talos. We've remained neutral in this matter, but balance of the situation has shifted. And should one side gain dominance over the other, there will be chaos. Go, speak with Dawnbringer Sane, my counterpart in the Hall of Lathanda. Helm be your guide through the halls, and halls of friends, and the trials of enemies. Alright, so, working for the Temple of Lathanda. Goody goody two shoot temple. Taxes. My power will be inevitable. I'm surprised. I don't think we would be very welcome in the Temple of the Thunder. Very well. For a party like we have, but oh well. Still, it's a very nice place. <laughs> Marvelous tale, Gnome. Well told, well told. Only blight on you is that trimmed beard and that lonesome pointy pickle hanging off your face. Oh, well. Corgan is nice to, uh, I figure, to uh, Jan. Not short stuff sticking together. I suppose that makes sense. Alright, this is Don Bringer Sane. The morning lord welcomes you to his sight. Ah, you must be Skizny. I watch your own sick. Uh, had said you were, so we would send Capo help. Are you ready to aid the house of the morning lord? Fine, I'll do what I can to aid you as long as I can pay it. Good. The Morning Lord takes great pride in the artifacts of his rule. We have many items on display, from new artworks to age relics of bygone days. Really? Do you have a chunk of ore? Because the Hellmites have a chunk of ore. Oh, well. I'm sure it's uh, pretty for the Hellmites. Yes, I get paid for it. Today we must bring one... Uh, we are one less. We are the victim of thievery. No, really. Who would could have th stolen from the Temple of Lathander? What kind of genius just arrived adventurer who works for the Thieves Guild and tries to uh, infiltrate Mayfar Stronghold could have stolen from you? Um, I don't think that's the same thievery. Oh, well then uh, disregard all I just said. Ah, uh, yes. We are victims of thievery. And our followers have been shaken by this vulnerability. Quick steps must be taken to rectify this. Anything to be of service. We know the culprits. They've not concealed their crime. Talassans, slinking from the temple to degrade our worship. Are it common thieves for the deed. They fear no retribution. The Morning Lord cannot offer his relics in the hands of such evil. Find these thieves before the Talassans receive the item. The spark of dawn has lit the way. Go to the filth of the slums at night and intercept the delivery of our dawn ring. Bring, back, bring it back to its proper place. Expect resistance from the Talassans. Divination reveals their foul servants. Go and receive the one... Uh, go and relieve the one called Trevin of our rightful property. And what shall be my reward for this task? Ah, ah yes. You are not of our faith. If gold is your motivator, you shall have it. Perhaps you will also learn some devotion of your own. I doubt it. No greater reward could I imagine in a new direction inspired. Regardless, you will have your gold. What we can afford, is this sufficient? We shall see. Your reward will be suitable. Go to the slums during the night. If you can do this without bloodshed, all the better, but spare no wrath if necessary. I will uh, 
I'm usually very generous when it comes to Ralph. It's one of those things, you know. So another interception in the slums. More criminal dealings. For now, though, we are going to do something else first. Yes, we are going to use this. This, uh, that lithium that we collected, as well as the, um, as the shadow scales that we collected, back in the docks. Oh, I'm okay, just checking things out again. Yeah, she is uh, telling us we're filthy horny yeah. dogs. I think uh, that that definitely appeals to uh, a certain person. Anyways, let us move uh, along. Um, down, down, down we go. Past our glorious guild house. Over here, towards where there's a lighthouse. Pretty nice setup there. I don't know how effective this, this would be as a lighthouse. I suppose it works, but. Uh, I don't know, I think you would want to just fire covered by something. This might just be me. I do have no knowledge of how old lighthouses worked. But yes, this is a nice harbour lighthouse. But yes, this is where we want to be. This little house here. This is actually a smithy. Do I have to do all the work? Comrade. Hey, who are you there? Some bell for you wandering in me city, I see. I really get visitors with a blistering heat and all. Something I can do for you, boy. Well, you can stop calling me boy, for starters. I wish you wish. I mean, no offense, my friend. Is there something else you wish? Come on, be at your, be at your calling, be a boy instead. To call by ye instead, okay, whatever. Oh, he won't ask our name. Ah, now I get it. I am excuse me if you really must know. Eh, yeah, I cannot. But you ain't me smithy, so it will need be only be polite. No, let's be skinny. Be that something that you need from an old dwarf, or or at you just like the smoke. I don't know what type of weird sort of things. Uh, what sort of smithing do you do then? I made armor from the skill of a basilisk, a helmet of a helmet from a cockatrice. I did to put fear in the heart of the bloody gods themselves. Ha! <laughs> All of me work be done from commission. Give me the ingredients and I can forge an item of power. Sure enough. This is a good living for a smith from these girls. What sort of uh, things would you need in order to make something then? Well now, that depends. Rare scales, or a husk mayhap, or a magical metal I could forge. Magical metal, you see, and rare scales, you see where I'm going with this. Even a piece of a larger item can be repaired. My scales are many. Do you have anything I could forge into something then? Hmm, go and rightly say. Let me have a look at your goods. Then, I mean that I'm rummaging and I don't know for sure, I. Hmm, what's this then? Some kind of scales from a beastie, eye? Eh? Hey, you collected the scales of a shadow dragon. Buy the soul forger, it is a grand sight. I can make a suit of armor from the scales if you like. But what's involved with that? Two things, my friend. It'll cost you 5,000 golds for the work. No less, and without an apprentice you have to stay a full day and help me run the fort. Fine, it sounds fine, let's do it. As you wish. For such a commission, we could start right away. No sense in wasting time, then. It's best if we just get on to it. Mm-hmm. Nice bit of smithing animation, I guess. Magical smithing animation. Though, I think with shadow leather skills, it might be more sewing than smithing, really. Unless he's making a uh, plate man out of this. 
And apologies for the background noise. Oh, yeah, that's because combined with a thing. Ah, and the thieves have returned from their missions. Well, there you go, my friend. Use it well. If you come across anything else, you know where to find it. Bring it, I. So yes, we now have Shadow Dragon skills, and this is one of the best leather armors in the game. An AC of one, which is uh, comparable to blade mail. Now then, uh, I think. Uh, Shall we send our thieves? Yeah, let's send our thieves quickly uh, back to their jobs, or at least collect the money from them. Collect some money! Money, 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 money. Money, money, money! How to go? Money, money, money! Rock and roll! Are you singing Fallout songs now, Skizney? Yes! Okay. Why aren't you playing as me in your Fallout 4 playthrough? Oh, I think I'll save you for the fantasy ones. There's more gold in fantasy rather than money. That's a fair point. I don't want to roll around in bottle caps. Oh, yeah, there you go. So let's collect. It is time to see how your thieves function with their last set of instructions. Begin with Hans. Hans returned with a nice profit. Good. Goshan. Escape danger unscathed. Excellent. Great ore. Quite resourceful. That's uh, as gold. Okay. Morsa. Not well to level 10. Has returned with Tyson of Gold. It was risky, but she came through in the end. Excellent. Faria. Excellent. Money. Alright, well, this set of instructions work well then. So leave them as they are. No need to change anything. I think we have uh, balanced out the threats, uh, the threats and uh, profit. Uh, Very well. Uh, the margin of things. Which is good. So that nets us about, I think, about a thousand gold per. Uh, about, well, no, more, two thousand gold. Depending on how much Reno wants. Fine, per week. Fine. Nice bit of extra profit. We can still forge some more things here with our friend Cromwell. Hey, good night to you, my friend. Good to see you back at me fort, it is. Be there something that you need? Uh, let's see, do I have other things you can forge? Couldn't rightly say, let's go rummaging. I know, what do we have here? You've got a name with a... we got a skull with a true name of the Thunder Hammer. Come fair! But you need, you need the Hammer of Thunderbolts, a gondolas of Ogre's power and a girdle of Frost Giant's strength. I could for, combine them and forge it. But you don't! I cannot help you. If you can collect the skull and the all three items later, Keep them on hand. Come fair is worth the effort, my friend. Now let's see if you got anything else in your pack now. Eh, hey, you got part of some sword here, is it? Let me see. Ah, pretty enough pommel gem. But without that blade or the hilt of the, hilt of the weapon, I cannot forge it into one piece. Ah, uh, pity. Uh, what else does your pack have? Hmm, what's this then? A part of a bow? Looks like a Gerson's work. Ah! Yeah, I got the shaft that will be created by the great boar G Gason. But you haven't got D Gason's proper string. Find that, I could forge, reforge the bow for you. I'll keep looking here, my friend. Hmm. Hmm, aye, aye, what's this now? This looks interesting. You got the shaft of what used to be a powerful halberd. If you find the blade for it, I could reforge the old weapon without much fuss. Quite a mess you have in here. Travelling for some time, eh? Mm. I know. This could be something here. Yeah. Some kind of metal. Let me see. You got a lithium, my eye. And a maze of disruption as well. I can apply a coating to your maze and improve it greatly. Give it more protection from the undead. Now what's involved with that? Hey, two things. It'll cost you 7,500 gold. No less, and without a friend you have to stay and work a full day to have me run the fort. You know that real. Alright, that's so fine, let's do it. Coating the coating that thing. And that's why we went with that weird solution for that lithium quest. Aye, for such a commission we can stay right or begin right now. Let's do this shit. Now this would be proper sniffing. Or it would, given that this is a metal coating, it would be more like metallurgy, honestly. But that's close to smithing. I don't think hammering it will, will do much work. 
with the whole coating. Right, let's see now. We rest for a day, I guess. Yeah. I haven't been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirian sent the price of turnips through the roof during the onion famine. Oh, the dreaded onion famine. People smelled horrible. But yes, now Mace of Disruption is a plus two and it gives immunity to level drain. That's a very handy thing. Because, yeah, you, uh. Level drain can be a right bitch. So, that's uh, some item forging done. A minor quest, too. And then something or someone show up. Hold there, Wayfarer. I have a few queries of this lonely group of middling pilgrims. And what is it that you wish to know, then? We are interested in the whereabouts of uh, Edwin, a long-winded bag of gas. Homeland magic indicates that this area to be the likely place that the vulture roots roost. And why exactly are you seeking this, Edwin? Edwin is a self-serving, nerveless worm. He's gone rogue. He ties nothing and has vilified the masters of the order. Sully their good name. As it happens, his prowess as a spellcaster consists of parlor tricks and balls on a coconut shells. Did I mention a fantastic reward as well? Now, Skizzy would probably sell uh, Edwin out, but uh, I think I want him safe with the party. He is more useful than, uh, than the money, honestly. And also Skizzy might favor it. I mean, he is his employee, so... Uh, no, I haven't seen any Edwin, but I'll be watching for him. As a king's ransom for the kind soul who is obliged to turn in the um, um, impotent impostor over to the proper judicial authority. If I should happen across this Edwin, I'll be sure to let uh, to seek you out and let you know where he is. Yes, let's not sell Edwin out. Uh, There's also the reason, like. And when he's a valuable employee, he uh, has gotten us through a lot of scrapes and his spellcasting is rather good. So he's not that easy to replace. So I can see even an evil character out for money to uh, maybe see, well, this is a long-term investment and uh, good employees are hard to find. Anyways, I think uh, that's all good and well for today. Uh, we solved a lot of smaller quests. Next time I think we'll begin on one of the bigger quests. There's still two big quests we can do before uh, we actually uh, move on with the main plot and go and uh, rescue Imwin and face Irenicus. So yes, still expect a few more episodes here in Atkatla. In Arm, the Shadows of Arm. Good day.